Okay, welcome to section 3 of how to play Black Rose and we're going to play the section that we played in the beginning and we'll go through it bit by bit. The first little phrase is going to sound like this. Okay, slowly. So what this is, is we're going to play 7 to 9 on the A and then slide 5th to 7th on the D and then play the ninth on the D. And then we have this raise here. Okay, so we're moving up from that ninth fret on the D, then same finger to the ninth fret on the G. And then Irish twiddle from the seventh to the ninth to the seventh. Okay. Then we move this first finger down to the seventh fret on the A. That might take some practice, so just practice little, this little section on its own. Try and avoid any noise of you moving across the strings with that first finger. Okay, so that little bit plays twice. One guitar plays it, then the other guitar leads after. And then next time, the uh, next two times the phrase changes just the very end note, so then we have okay, so instead of that bottom note being the seventh fret on the A, now it's going to be the ninth fret on the D okay, and that plays twice okay now we move up um, here, kind of like an octave and then it goes like this twice So what that is, we're gonna go play we're gonna play the ninth to eleventh on the G and then slide up from the tenth, so they from the eighth to the tenth on the B, then play the twelfth on the B. Then we have G is twelfth on the high E, tenth on the high E. And then we do this little slide here, using my first finger, ninth to twelfth to ninth. Put some vibrato at the end. Okay. So that plays twice. One guitar does it, and then the other guitar right after, as played in the intro to this video. Then after that, one guitar plays this. Okay. So again. As we did before, we just learn those notes, but at the end we slide from the B to the tenth from the tenth fret to the twelfth. Okay? Then that's one guitar, and then the very last time the second guitar plays this. Okay? So slightly different. Again, we do that um ninth to eleven to 11th on the G, and then 8th to 10th slide, 12th on the B, and then the high E on the 12th, then we do the Irish twiddle, 10th to 12th to 10th, and then 12th on the B. Okay, and that's the final time. So now we come to this section here, I'll play a little slower. Right, 
So there will be a Canon guitar that comes in later on. Uh, as I say Canon guitar, I mean um, part of this phrase will be repeated from another guitar, but it starts after the first guitar starts so that it creates a harmony. Um, but anyway, so the first part of this, let's get to that little phrase here. That's 12, 14, 15 on the high E. All of this is on the high E, by the way. So after we've done those three notes, then we go 14 to hammer on to 15, pull up to 14 quickly. Okay, that Irish little hammer on. Okay. And then back to 12. Then we go. So the last three notes are 14, 12, and 10, okay? And then after that we go. Okay, so that is 12, and then 10, hammer on to 12, pull off to 10 again, and then down to 7, okay? And then after that we go. So, that is 10, 7, 5, and then it's, which is 7, and then 5, hammer on to 7, pull off to 7th, then 3. Then finally we have, which is 5, 3, 2 on the high, and then slide into the 5th fret on the B. One more time slowly. Okay, so the Canon guitar, let's get to that. So the guitar that creates the Canon effect here, um, the phrase that the Canon guitar is playing is this basically. Okay, that's the phrase. It's exactly the same as the phrase of the first guitar player that we just went through, except we end at a different point, okay? So, Again, it's 12, 14, 15, then 14, hammer on to 15, pull off to 14, then play 12, and then 14, 12, 10, and then, which is 12, 10, hammer on to 12, pull off to 10, and then 7, and then, plus 4 notes, we have 10, 7, 5 on the high E, 8 on the B. Okay, slowly. Um, so when does this guitar come in? That's the question you might want to be asking here. So basically the first guitar starts off playing this phrase, right? But when we reach that note there, just think about that phrase. Okay, and now after that, the that's when we start the next uh, guitar, okay? The next guitar comes in there, creating that canon effect. Okay, so the first guitar will be playing this. Okay. While the first guitar, whilst the second guitar is playing. Okay. And it creates a harmony. Obviously, the second guitar has to end a bit earlier to match where the first guitar is ending. The first guitar ends on this note. The second guitar ends on this note. Together they create that harmony, which is... Okay. So, yeah, hopefully that was clear enough. Uh, some people, I'm guessing, might want that clarified, but it's hard to... You know, do this with what I have right here, right now. So, again... Um, I might, if you, if you need any extra work on that, let me know. So the final section, we'll play the first half of it. So the first uh, section, we'll split it up into say three sections. First part, like this. Basically we're going to go fifth, 
on the A, hammer on to the um, seventh, then play three times on the fifth fret of the D, and then we're going to go seven five seven on the D. So that's the first section. Then we then we're going to go. Okay. So we're going to slide into the ninth fret on the D, and then play the seventh fret on the G. And then play the ninth fret on the G, pull off to the seventh, and then play the ninth fret on the D again. Okay. Final section will sound like this. Okay. Uh, basically, it's seven on the G, and then nine seven on the D. And then we can play um, the fifth fret on the D. Then we can kind of slide up here. It's from the seventh to the ninth on the D. And then play the seventh fret on the A to end the first half. So the second half of, of this little section, um, the first part of it is exactly the same as the first time, so we go. Okay, so we learnt that part from the last section, but then we go. Okay, that's all we need to learn now. So that is basically 7th on the G, and slide down from the 9th to the 7th quickly on the D and then play the fifth round the D. Then we go which is slide from the seventh to the ninth on the D and then back to the seventh and then end it on the fifth. Then the main thing to keep into keep in mind here um, are the rhythms of each of the notes, okay? So we have Da, 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 da. That sort of thing is going on, and then at the end of the phrases we have um, so da, 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 at the end, okay? Oh, doo, 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 okay. So there's just those little um, timing things to think about. And uh, that'll do it for this little section here. Yeah, there's so much going on in this song. Um, each video takes a while to uh, make because of everything that's going on. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to say I would appreciate it if people like these videos. and uh, Put some subs up if you want more of this sort of thing. And maybe even share if, if you feel that people are going to want to. If this sort of thing is going to help out. You know, making these videos, I don't have a ton of time to do it. To be perfectly honest, um, so any help is cool. To make it more worthwhile for me. I mean, really, I'm doing this because it's just nice to help. There's no other. I don't obviously get anything back from it, um, apart from knowing that people have been helped by them. But definitely appreciate any help that you would like to give back. So I will see you for the next section. <laughs>